back in the early 1970s, crowded with people, colloquially, a shopper's fantasy. Today, almost 20 shop fronts are empty. The historic Logan Road precinct battling the times. The trees have grown, but the number of visitors haven't. Michael Sunderland's worked here for two decades. It's sad that there's so much vacancies, but on the other side, vacancies mean opportunities. You don't have to look far to find the major culprit. The Mount Gravatt Plaza, complete with two supermarkets, a post office and three banks, and ample parking, more than enough to draw foot traffic away from Logan Road. So people don't come locally anymore. The sign of the times, I'm afraid, yeah, just the internet has ruined retail. But is this strip destined for a new lease on life? There's been a landscaping facelift and soon more apartments. Well, they're going through a, a struggle at the moment. What we're trying to do is to support that with some additional population around the shopping district. Four new businesses are playing their part, bucking the trend to set up shop. I want to be on the main road with good exposure. There is a lot of stuff happening, so you know, from how I see it, I see that they're doing a good job. They may be the building blocks this place desperately needs. Adam Hegarty, Nine News. A news reporter has